Hi dears, welcome to math class. Our topic is solving first degree equations with two unknowns. Uh, substitution method. Substitution method. Uh, we know we are from previous lessons we know that there are five methods for solving first degree equations with two unknowns or simultaneous equations. Uh, this is the second law that is, uh, or second method that is substitution method. For substitution method, what we do, we solve one of the equations. There are two equations because this is with a two unknown. For two unknown, we have two equations. We solve one of the equations for one of the unknowns. It doesn't matter for x or y. And we put its value in the second equation. As a result, an equation with one unknown is obtained. After solving the equation of one unknown, this equation, we put the obtained value of the, this equation, equation with the one unknown, in the second equation. The second unknown value is obtained. I repeat, we solve one of the equations for one of the unknowns and we put its value in the second equation. As a result, an equation with one unknown is obtained. After solving the equation with one unknown, uh, equation of one unknown, we put this obtained value in the second uh, equation. The second unknown is obtained. Now I solve for you the uh, examples of uh, substitution method, solving the equations of what's up. Example, solve the following equations by substitution method. Equation number one is 3x plus y is equal to 17. And equation number two is 8x plus 11y is equal to 37. Now what we do, we solve one of these equations, number one or number two, for one of the unknowns, x or y, but uh, we see which one is easier, and we solve for that one. We take the equation number one, equation number one is 3x plus y is equal to 17. Now we solve is 3x plus y is equal to 17 for the y from here y is equal to 17 and we carry y from left side to the right side negative positive change to negative sign minus Three x positive three x become negative or minus three x. Y is equal to seventeen minus three x. Now, what we do? We take the second equation eight x. The second equation is 8x plus 11y is equal to 37. We put or we plug the value of y in the second equation. 8x plus 11 times y. You see the y, we put this value, this one, uh, y is equal to uh, 17 minus uh, 3x. Instead of y, we write here the value of y, that is 17 minus 3x, 
is equal to 37. Now we simplify this one. 8x plus we multiply 11 with 17 and also minus 3x. 11 times 17 become 187 plus positive times negative is negative. 11 times 3 is 33x is equal to 37 from here. We put all the uh, with anons with x in the one side of the equation and the other one in the other side. 8x minus 33x is equal to 37 minus 100. We bring uh, 187 to the right, become negative negative 187. From here, 33 minus uh, the, the, the different sign, uh, sign one of this first one is positive, the second, uh, second one is negative. 33 minus 8 is minus 25, 25x is equal to 183 minus 37 become minus 150. Now we divide both sides by minus 25. This side also minus 25. From here, Twenty-five cancel with the twenty-five. Negative times negative become positive. X is equal to negative times negative is positive. One hundred fifty divided by twenty-five becomes six. X is equal to six. We find one of the value. That is the value of x. Now we put this one in here in this first equation here. Y is equal to 17 minus 3x. That is equal to 17 minus 3. In the seed of x, we put the value of x that is 6. That is equal to 17 minus 3 times 6 is 18. 17 minus 18 is equal to minus 1. It means that y is equal to minus 1. The value of x is 6 plus 6, or positive 6, and the value of y is equal to minus 1. Means we put one of these, uh, solve the first equation for the one of the anodes, that is y. Then we uh, bring the second equation here. We put the value of y into this one instead of y with 17 minus 6. Now we simplify that. They give us a, a like a first degree uh, equation with one anode. When we solve this one with the, for the x, the x value become six. Now we put the x value here. And the first equation here or here doesn't matter any, in any of the equations. Then we simplify this one. And we they gave us the value of the y that is equal to minus one. Okay. Now I solve for you another example, example number two. 
solve the following equations by substitution method. 5x plus y is equal to 14 and 15x plus 6y is equal to 54. Now again, we solve the first equation for the x or y, for y is easier, 5x plus y is equal to 14. We can solve this equation for either x or y, but it is better that we solve it for the easier one from here. The y is equal to 14. We bring in positive x from left side to right side become negative or minus 5x. Now we bring here the second equation that is 15x plus 6y is equal to 54. Now this is the value of x, y from the first equation. We put this one here. 15x plus 6 and instead of y that's value 14 minus 5x that is equal to 54. From here 15x we can uh, multiply 6 with both of these. 6 times 14 become 84 minus 6 times 5 equal to 30x is equal to 54. From here 15x minus 30x is equal to 54. We bring negative 84 to the right side, become positive, become negative 84. And 15x minus, become minus 15 x is equal to minus 84 minus 15 become 4 and then 4 minus 4 is uh, 0 8 minus 5 is 3 we divide both sides by the minus 15 this side also by minus 15 or negative 15 negative this, this first one cancel the second one from here here remaining the x is equal to negative time negative positive 30 uh, divided by 15 is 2 x is equal to 2 now what we do we put the value of x here you bring this equation from here to here y is equal to 14 minus 5x that is equal to 14 minus 5 times instead of x there is x is equal to 2 so from over here 14 minus 5 times 2 is 10 that is equal to 
4 means that y is equal to 4 y is equal to 4 for this equation what you did we bring the first one and solve for y gave us a uh, first the key or the uh, equation with the one unknown we solve this one with for the uh, uh, x then we plug the value of x in this equation and give us the value of y I think it is this is enough for the solving the first order second the for uh, first order and uh, equations with two anons or simultaneous equations uh, by the method substitution method thank you for watching our video please don't forget to like subscribe and share the video with your family and friends and please press the notification bell to get notified for more videos Have a wonderful and great days and nights. Bye-bye.